Hello, class. My name is Barry Dingle. You may remember me as the master baker who won the annual pie contest every year in a row. Still, Miss Abigail has summoned me from my farm to tell you about the first gathering. Oh, no, please don't. Now in front of you are paper and scissors to make your very own capotin and village your headdress for the festivities. And if you behave, I've brought my award-winning recipe to share, just like they did back in the day. Do we have to? Seems pointless. Yes, I refuse. My family has a tradition of only pointy hats. Hastily. They hate the cheery smell of bright red roses. When they smell death, they open up their noses. Otis drives a hearse and keeps a pickle near his heart. Or if he's got the strength of a 20 mule train cart, her cat and spider help chase down the bad rough cowboy. Pyrodyne sews them up, sets their eyes in nickel alloy. The goodbye family is not like you and me. A student should never judge the lesson before it's learned. Which one? Shame or embarrassment? My crap routine looks like an overturned bedpan. Aren't these paper headdresses considered offensive? Fine. No treats for any of you. I'll eat my dingleberry pie all by myself. Gross. Mind you, a bush is known by its berry, a man by his. Dirty long johns. Hate to tell you, dingleberries don't even grow on bushes. They grow on runners. See, you can have a one in your long johns. Children, that's enough. Let me enlighten you with our history. It was the end of fall and a chilling month at sea, and my ancestor, Ebenezer Dingle, and his family made landfall but were in short supply of food. They looked for a place to camp when some villagers in the woods were hunting game and heard their cries. Both sides peacefully promised to teach each other their ways. Using the villagers' berries and the settlers' pie crust, they forged their very first dingleberry pie. Ha! Huh. That's not how I heard it. Did someone say something? I only hear polite children that raise their hands. I'll raise all ten toes in a big stink. The settlers came here uninvited, fought, and argued. That's what I said. It was like a family get-together. Oh, look at the time. Time for this berry to dingle on out of here. <laughs>